Germination of seeds. Germination of seeds is a process of seeds growing into plants. It, the seeds inside the fruits are designed to spread throughout the environment and grow into new plants in a process called seed germination. Germination in a decot. The primary root emerge through the seed coats while the seed is still buried in the soil. The hypocotyl below the cotylendons emerge from the seed coats and pushes its way up through the soil. It is bent in a higher pin shape. The hypocotyl arc as it grows up. The two cotylendons protect the plumule, the epicotyl about the cotylendons, and first leaps from the mechanical damage. Once the hypocotyl arc emerges from the soil, it straightens out. This response is triggered by light and both a red light absorbed by pythochrone and blue light absorbed by cytochrome can do the job. The cotylendon spread apart exposing the epicotyl with the apical meristem at its tip and also two primary leaves and in many decots, the cotylendons not only transfer their food stores to the developing plant, but also turn green and make more food by photosynthesis until they grow off. Germination in monocots When a grass seed like corn, maize, are oats shown here, germinate the primary root, price tree, the seed and fruit covering and grows down. The primary leaf of the plant grows up and it is protected and is pushes up through the soil by the colitile or a hollow or cylindrical structure. Once the seedling has grown above the surface, the colitile stops growing and the primary leaf pierces it. Conditions necessarily for germination. First, we have the preconditioning. When you say preconditioning, some seeds require specialized before they will germinate. Some examples include alternate freezing and towing may be required to break down and crack hard seed shells. Also, a dormant period of rest in a cool dry conditions may be required by some seeds. Ponderosa pine seeds must be signed by the heat of forest fires before they are able to germinate. The seeds of the Calvaria tree, or in native to Madagascar, must be passed through the intestinal tract of turkeys before they are able to germinate. Next condition, we have the preconditioning. And also, in this first process or condition, in the presence of red light and infrared light, some seeds, such as tomato seeds, are known to produce bioactive chemicals called diberylenes or gas, which promote seed germination. In decotyland use plants, plants whose seeds have two embryonic leaves, decots for short, such as tomato, the GA promotes the growth potential of the embryo and weakens the structures surrounding the embryo. Second conditions necessarily for germination, we have the moisture. Seeds tend to remain dormant 
as long as they are dry. Water softens the seed coat and expands the protoplasm. The third condition necessarily, we have the oxygen. All green plants need oxygen to breathe or to respire. Like humans, they need oxygen to live and grow. However, dormant seeds need little oxygen. Next condition, we have the warmth. Minimum, tomato plants will not germinate at temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. Optimum, tomato plants germinate best between 7 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. And in maximum level, tomato plants will not germinate at temperatures which exceed in 35 degrees Celsius. So, in general, we have the four process in germination. First, a seed with a tiny embryo inside remains in the ground until conditions are right for the seed to germinate. After the seed coat splits, the embryo roots begin to grow into the soil. Now, the embryo can get water. Third process. Food in the seed feeds the embryo as the shot or stem grows upward the light. And last process, the stem grows leaves develop and roots spread in the soil. Now, the seedling can make its own food. So thank you for listening at Topedia World and uh, kindly listen to the two examples in terms of germination of plants.